Welcome to WAC Basketball Preview Days presented by Hercules Tires. I'm Kendra Sheehan, Sam Houston Men's Basketball Program. Joining us now, head coach Jason Hooden in his 11th season, Demarcus Lampley, senior guard, first team all Southland Conference last year and Savion Flag, Texas A&M grad student. Thank you all for joining us for an exciting hoop season. Coach, I'm going to start with you entering a loaded WAC conference. What do you anticipate being the biggest challenge this season? Uh, I would guess the biggest challenge is just, you know, the depth of the conference, how many good teams there are, and, you know, just the matter of being ready to play night in and night out. Um, you know, and not that there were ever any easy games by all means in the Southland. There never are easy games in conference play, but I just think, again, you know, there's such such good talent in this league. There's such good coaches, um, and, and it's just gonna you're just going to have to be ready to play every night. You're proven to produce winning seasons, just one losing season in your time with the Bearcats. What have you emphasized to the guys about what it's going to take to win in this league? I think the same things that we've always done, um, you know, just trying to have a, a team that's consistent, a team that's ready to play every night. Um, and, and just doing, you know, those things that we've done well, you know, play defense, be tough, uh, play hard. I think those are the, the things that we've kind of, so to speak, hung our hat on. And, you know, and you're going to have to do that to win in this league or any league for that matter. Um, now, you know, we're obviously going to have to, you know, play better and, and I think, you know, continue to improve our, our talent, which we feel like we've done this year, um, you know, to match a league that, you know, is maybe bigger and, and and more talented in some areas than the league that we just left. But I just think overall, we won't we won't do a whole lot of different uh, different things. We'll continue to do what we've always done. Made some great off season pickups. How do you replace a guy like Zach Nuttall, who was Southland's Player of the Year, averaged over nineteen points a game? Well, I don't know if you ever, you know, replace guys like Zach in any program. Um, you know, he was a great player for our program and 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 put up some great statistics and and we won some games. Um, but you know, a team is usually made up of more than just one guy. And we, you know, this guy sitting here to my left, uh, he played really well last year and you know was an all-conference player. And you know, this guy sitting to my right was an SEC all-conference player two years ago. So you know, we feel really good about, you know, the guys that can step in and do what Zach did for us. And and hopefully, you know, we've improved in some areas um, and, and gotten better. DeMarcus, you averaged double digits in scoring last year. It's going to need some help. How do you create a more balanced attack this season? Uh, looking to looking forward to playing with new guys, my new teammates. Uh, I have Savion. We have other new pieces uh, to our team. That's going to uh, create points on the board also. It's not just one guy like my coach said. Savion, in your first year with the Bearcats, what has it been like up until this point, getting to know the guys and learning the, the system? Uh, it's been great. Uh, everyone's been very welcoming uh, when I got here in July. Uh, I think the team chemistry is great. It's one of the top since I've been since my freshman year. Uh, we went to Sweet 16. Uh, it just feels like one of those kind of groups that you feel like there are no egos on the team and everyone really gels together. With your final year of eligibility, what do you hope to gain most from this season? I just want to say get back to winning. Uh, I feel like that's the most important thing uh, and everything else will play into that uh, with the individual uh, assets of it. Uh, I feel like winning, uh, just playing hard, uh, just really showing everybody what you can do. High expectations for you coming into this program to fill some holes. Do you feel the pressure or are you just excited to get going and play with some great guys that are on the floor with the Bearcats? Uh, no, I don't feel pressure at all. This is what I love to do. I work on my craft every day. Uh, coach really just gets on me a lot about being consistent. Uh, just going into that, playing with a lot of good guys like DeMarcus and uh, the returners from last year and the new, new pieces that we have, just ready to get after it. DeMarcus, what are you looking forward to most in playing in the Western Athletic Conference? What I'm looking forward to most is a championship. I mean, that's everything to go. <laughs> what is one area that you've really seen improvement in your game from last year to this year? Area of improvement? Uh, I'll probably say my defense. Uh, scoring is not nothing big. That's, that's going to happen. So it's probably my defense. 
what areas of your defense have you really honed in on in the off season and hope to improve in gameplay? Just trying to get you to talk more about it. Probably, <laughs> probably my on ball defense. Keep being being able to keep a defender in front uh, in the whole game. Don't let too many people get paint touches on me, or my coach will go off. <laughs> Where do you feel like this team is starting this season compared to where the team was at this point last year? Oh, we're doing real good this season. Uh, I really, ooh. I mean, we're, we're going to, it's a great ball club. I mean, we're starting to click. We're starting to get our offense together. Defense is starting to click better. Uh, it's going to be really nice. Coach, looking at the guys to your left and to your right, how have you seen them grow, Savion just coming into the program, but DeMarcus from last year to this year, and how do you feel like they can both fit on the floor and make an even bigger impact? Well, they're both obviously really good players. Um, they're both, the thing about both of them is they're naturally skilled offensively. Uh, they both can really score the ball and both can shoot it at a high level. You know, I, I think that with DeMarcus, um, you know, I don't want to, again, talk too much about Zach, but, you know, I think DeMarcus was a little bit in his shadow, so to speak, last year. And, you know, uh, maybe uh, a poor coaching job. Maybe we didn't maybe get DeMarcus enough shots at times last year, um, you know, and, and I think that's something that we will be able to do a lot better job of this year. But I also think part of that is this guy here and that's Savion being a, a really unselfish player, a guy who can really score the ball, but he also can create other shots for people. And I think DeMarcus is going to, he's going to benefit from that as well as the, the rest of our guys. Um, but Savion's been great. You know, I, you think when you take a, a person from a, a power five conference that, you know, they come in maybe with a different attitude, uh, you know, they've been somewhere else before and, you know, not really want to fit in and jail with your team and, you know, just as far as being coachable. But I've, I've been just pleasantly um, surprised and pleased with everything from Savion. He's come in from day one. And, you know, he's acted like he's been here for four years. And, you know, that's the hard thing about taking a grad transfer sometimes. You know, you only have such a short period of time to get acclimated. But he's came in and hit the ground running. He's a great teammate. He's very unselfish. In fact, you know, he and I have had that discussion a lot about being more selfish. And, and I think, as he said with his comments about just being more consistent, because he is a guy that can go out and get, you know, 15, 20 uh, every night. And uh, so we're going to need that from him, um, you know, to replace some of the points that we lost from Bryce and, and Zach. But just been overall impressed with, you know, again, his ability to be coached and just want to be good and just want to be a good teammate. But on top of that, these two guys are just unbelievable people and uh, they're probably even better people than they are players. How potent can this offense be with the two guys and the rest of the guys that you have in the locker room? Yeah, we, you know, we have six returners, so it feels good to have enough guys back uh, that understand our system and understand how we want to play. And then, you know, we've inserted as not just Savion, but we've inserted some other guys that I think will 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 help and take some of that load off of what we lost. Um, this team reminds me a lot of our championship team in 2019, where, you know, we had some weapons on that team. But, you know, that year going in, um, you know, Cam Delaney, no one really knew who he was, and he ended up being the player of the year in that conference. And I tell people all the time that the biggest reason that he was the player of the year was because we had a great team and that we really moved the ball well and shared it. And I think this team's going to be a lot like that. You know, this team, obviously, these two guys will score a lot of points, but I also think that on any given night, we have other guys that can step up and do that as well. And uh, I just think we're going to be able to run our offense a lot better than we did last year and we're gonna be way more efficient. DeMarcus, hearing your coach talk about how this team reminds him of that championship team, how much does that excite you for what this group is capable of this season? Uh, it excites me a lot. I'm ready to get going. I mean, I'm ready to play with new guys. I never played with seven footers before on my team. So that, they, that they're going to get seven footers, it really excites me to play with them. How has the team chemistry been on this team? How have you guys all gelled together? Oh, so far we gelled together good on and off the court. Savion, last question for you. What was the biggest pull in coming to Sam Houston? Uh, I'd say the biggest pull in coming to Sam Houston was uh, it went back to high school. Uh, Coach Hooten and Coach Mudge was my first offer that I got in basketball. 
So having that relationship from the start, them being the first ones that, as you can say, believed in me when I when I was coming out of high school, uh, kind of went back to that when when I got the phone call from Mudge when I put my name in the portal. So I kind that was kind of my first thought going into it. And then uh, everything they were telling me uh, when I was getting recruited uh, really uh, stuck in my head and it was it was good to me. So and everything that since I've been here that they told me when I was being recruited has been hand in hand. Awesome. Savion, DeMarcus, Coach Hooten, thank you so much for joining me. Good luck this season. I'm going to pass it off to Chris Thompson, who's going to let the rest of the media ask you guys some questions. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it.